Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right. Yesterday, day one of the four-day WrestleMania weekend, we did five videos. We did, actually we did four yesterday, one this morning. We have one show left, the show that was on at 11.59 last night, GCW's Planet Death. Um, the two shows so far today that's been on, we have the JCW versus... Um, LA Knight, haven't, haven't watched that one yet, I'm getting ready to start it, and we also have GCW's For the Culture, uh, haven't watched either one of those yet, um, NJPW's, uh, Lone, uh, what the name of that show, Lone Star Shootout starts at 5, and then Ring of Honor Supercard of Honor starts at 7, um, and then we have, we have actually have a big, uh, Friday Night Smackdown as well tonight, it's the Wrestle Smackdown WrestleMania, or WrestleMania SmackDown, whatever the hell they're calling it. So I may actually review that one too. It's going to be a pretty good show, I think. They got some WrestleMania caliber matches on there. So yeah, I'm going to get everything up as quick as I possibly can over the next few, next day or so. But tomorrow, it's just going to be non-stop balls of the walls wrestling, two and three shows at a time. So it's going to be a whole hell of a lot of fun, a hell of a lot of videos. So make sure you check them all out. I know you guys have been checking them out so far. I love it. Um, but yeah, we've got two NASCAR videos up there as well, so we need to get those in. Um, but also, we're going to get this Planet Death up. So, we had six death match shows here, uh, matches here. To me, what makes a true good death match? Out of all the death matches I've watched, you can't do too much of one thing. To me, just center, just beating people with light tubes. Okay. If you remember, the death match was on Dynamite between Nick Gage and Chris Jericho. That was a tame version of a, to me, what a good death match is. A high caliber death match has got two light tubes. It's got barbed wire. It's got doors. It's got tables. It's got chairs. It's got glass. It's got tacks, possibly. It's got a pizza cutter. It's got, you know, just a variety of different things that are used in different ways. Um, some of these matches were good, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of light tube issues here. And, I mean, after a while, but there's one just bloody mess that's like holy hell um the first match we had a tp match bam sullivan and slade slade's been on a couple different shows yesterday this match was okay there was some blood it wasn't a lot of blood it was kind of a more of a slade kind of getting into the death, death match scene kind of deal um slade did get the victory and they giving it two and a half Next up, we had a thumbtack, kick pad, light tube death match. Cole Radrick, who is not someone that normally does a lot of death matches, versus Akira, who is a de death match prince to me. He's one of those guys that's kind of like the, if you look at the Nick Gades, the Jimmy Lloyds, the Grim Reefer, um, those kind of guys are kind of the upper echelon of death matches. Akira is kind of that up and coming guy who can put on some great death matches, but can also kind of take off of like what a Nick Gage can do. This match was really freaking good. Lots of light tube usage. Uh, the thumbtack kick pad. Um, pretty cool. Cole Raddock ended up giving it a victory over Akira. So that kind of, to me, if you're looking at kind of the rankings of deathmatch people, Cole Raddock is not even on the radar. Now he kind of is. You know, go out there and beat Akira like this. I ended up giving it three and a quarter. Next up, we had a boards of fuckery deathmatch. Um, yeah, some of these boards of fuckery deathmatch. I mean, come on. A, uh, what are these plate things they have that they stick to people? Um, they will get staple guns and staple shit to people. Brandon Kirk versus Sawyer Wreck. Um, Brandon Kirk in the deathmatch scene is hated. Fans fucking hate this dude. It's hilarious. It's the Kirks. There's, they suck him and his wife. Uh, but yeah, what was so funny about this is Brandon Kirk... Goes into the referee's pocket, pulls like freaking ones out, and staple them to Sawyer Rex's head. She literally had freaking ones stapled to her forehead during this match. Um, she ended up getting the, in the victory there. I give it three star. It was okay. Uh, next up, we had Light Tube Bundles Death Match. Neil Diamond Cutter and Shane Mercer. Sometimes too many light tubes what this was literally it's just light tubes bundles of light tubes the fact that Shane Mercer is 
a pretty stout built dude and Neil Diamond Cutter is not. Neil Diamond Cutter was trying to go after Shane Mercer with the light tube and um, Shane Mercer just kept pushing him out of the way like a bug. Um, ended up throwing him in the ring when he had a light tube like this and shatter right in his face. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was okay. Shane Mercer got the victory, ended up giving it three and a quarter. Um, next up, we had the light tube death match. Madman, Bondo, and Hoodfoot. If you get scream, scream, screamish when it comes to blood, do not watch this match. Hoodfoot has a match today. I want to know how he still got blood in him. This is one of the bloodiest freaking matches I've seen. Literally freaking uh, Madman had a freaking knife cut in Hoodfoot. They were light tubes just stabbing each other with light tubes. Um, There was so much blood in the ring. It was funny. I'm like, holy, this is one of the bloodiest death matches I've watched. Um, Hoodfoot ended up getting a victory, which I don't know how. Either one of these were still staying at the end of this. I ended up giving it three and a quarter. And then our main event was a barbed wire door death match. Uh, Sadiqa versus Jimmy Lloyd. Um, a different boy, Jimmy Lloyd. Um, go out there. I mean, literally you had multiple doors covered in barbed wire. So there's a lot of wire usage here. Some of it kind of gets a little, after a while, it's like, ow. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you touch barbed wire, just having freaking Jimmy Lloyd just play with barbed wire. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but Sadiqa, she is a crazy woman when it comes to these. I mean, she's had some great matches versus um, Negage, and she's had some really, truly awesome death matches. Seeing her in this kind of atmosphere is kind of kind of way different. And then uh, Jimmy Lloyd, we've seen him in scramble matches and death matches and kind of whatever matches the game changer needs him, to, needs him for. I mean, that Jimmy Lloyd, Jimmy fucking Lloyd, he is a different boy from a different world. Um, but yeah, Sadiq, got the victory here. Um, great Good match. I want to say great, great. Oh, really good. No, it's one of the good matches. Um, again, might give it three and a quarter. So they weren't, none of these matches were horrible at all. They were just, you know, one was okay. The rest were pretty good. Three and a quarter. Not bad. To me, when I rate a death match, I've never gone above a four on a death match. Because it is a niche. It is a unique skill set to go out there and put your body on the line and bleed like a stuck pig to entertain people. Not everyone's going to do it. But the ones that do it, that are good at it, like I said, the Nick Gages of the world, Jimmy Lloyd, Mance Warner, um, Hoodfoot, um, I know I'm missing a bunch. These guys are just on a different level than everybody else. This is their niche. This is something they're freaking good at, and they make it make it look awesome. Uh, but that is GCW's Planet Death Review. Stay tuned to Robert Sports Show. Like I said, we got a lot coming on this weekend, tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day, have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports kind of content.